Well, Murphy's Law says that everything that can go wrong will go wrong, and that's basically how this trip starts. So as mentioned in the beginning, Murphy's Law has been visiting me the week before I went to this trip or before I boarded this airplane, I got a cold and I'm still struggling with the cold, which makes this flight pretty exhausting, unfortunately. I'm in Dubai, as I mentioned, and I'm traveling with a lot of equipment. So the next thing that happened in terms of Murphy's Law was that I arrived at the airport and I'm using the Wanderer Provoke 31 liters, which has all my equipment in it. When I was checking in my check-in bag, unfortunately they were checking every passenger's carry-on bag, even bags that were smaller than my backpack. So they found out that my carry-on bag was 12 kilograms, opposed to the allowed 7 kilograms. So I had to repack everything and put some equipment and some cables and stuff like that into my check-in bag, which is pretty scary at the moment because I have no idea if that equipment will arrive safely in Jakarta. Fortunately, it's just some equipment that is, isn't that important, like cables, chargers, and some mics. I will need them, but it wouldn't be a disaster if they wouldn't arrive safely. Furthermore, once I repacked everything in the, the check-in bag, at the security check, because I have so much equipment like my DJI Ronin SC gimbal, my camera, my laptop, there are lots of batteries inside that backpack, which caused the security people to check all my gear multiple times. So I had to unpack everything and I scanned everything at least twice, which took a long time. Fortunately, I'm one of those persons who like to be at the airport at least two to three hours before boarding. I know some people would say that's a little bit too much or overcautious, and some people like to be as late as possible at the airport so they don't have to wait that long. But there have there are some things like this, long security checks or long lines, and with international flights and lots of equipment. I personally prefer to be there at least two to three hours. So I don't have to run through the airport with all my equipment with that heavy bag on my back. So yeah, that's what I personally can recommend when flying internationally. So I'm about to board for the flight to Jakarta and yeah, I will see you in Jakarta. <music> in Jakarta after a very long eight hour flight and I'm pretty exhausted. Fortunately I had like a whole row of seats for myself so I was able to sleep a little bit. So I'm not going to the hotel and I'll see you there. So I have just arrived at the hotel here in Jakarta and as you can see I am exhausted. It was 7 hours from Hamburg to Dubai, then 5 hours waiting and then 8 hours from Dubai to Jakarta and then with the car from the airport to this hotel it was I think one hour or something. So just to bring you up to speed what this is, this is Traveling with Bo season three and I'm in Jakarta for a factory tour of Tas Indo and the company Rich Bake kindly invited me to this factory to see how bags are being made. And in this factory, uh, this is really, as far as I understand, a really big bag factory that has many brands and many companies as clients. So this is probably going to be very interesting because I already heard from other bag brands that are producing there as well. So yeah, traveling with Bo is all about travel tips and how I travel. And this first episode is yeah about the flight, which as you have seen, 
uh, was very stressful because I had to repack my carry-on bag. Yeah, and now I'm here for this trip and as I said, I will do travel tips for traveling with Bo and a couple of documentary style videos about this factory. And very important to say is that Rich Bake invited me to Jakarta and paid for this trip and uh, will show me the factory. However, as you know from my video, I don't want to sell you stuff that you can see in the info tab above. I don't want to do any sponsorship videos that could influence or bias my reviews. So when they emailed me, I told them, yeah, obviously I'm interested to see a factory where bags are made because I've never had the chance to see how a bag is being produced, tested and designed. So I said, yeah, I want to see this factory, but I don't want to do any advertisement, commercials or product um, endorsement for you and your bags because I haven't seen your bags yet and fortunately they were very understanding and very respectful and told me hey we understand that your credibility and your honesty and your uh, reviews are really important and we don't want to taint or undermine your trust with your viewers so we agreed to you making a documentary about how bags are being made and we kindly invite you to Jakarta and you don't have to do any advertisements about us or our bags. So obviously I said yes and now here I am in Jakarta and I just wanted to finish up this video with a travel tip or not with a travel tip or rather finish this vlog style first pilot episode with how I unpack or what I'm doing when I arrive at the hotel. So one question one of you had, do I unpack my bag when I arrive at the hotel? And to answer that question, kinda. Because I am a very big fan of using packing cubes. And with packing cubes, as the name suggests, you have everything inside neatly packed in these cubes. So I don't really need to unpack everything and put it into the closet, but rather take out the cubes and put them either in the closet or just leave them in the bags. Since this is a rather short trip, I don't really mind living out of my bag. Uh, so I will keep those cubes in the bag, but if it's a longer trip, I usually take out the cubes, put the cubes into the closet, take my sweaters and stuff like that and hang them up. But I'm in Indonesia, so I don't have that many sweaters. I only have like t-shirts, two shorts, a pair of jeans, and that's about it. Uh, underwear and socks, of course. So I can leave that in my bag. So I leave the cubes in here. The bag is really messy because as I mentioned, I had to repack everything and put my equipment inside the bag. So it's a little bit messy. In here, I always have my toiletries, liquids. For instance, I brought some washing soap so I can wash my merino shirts and boxes. I put all those liquids in a dry bag. And also, I wanted to test out to use this dry bag in conjunction with a mesh wash sack if I could wash my clothing, clothing inside this dry bag. That's something I want to test out. So as you can see, it's pretty messy. I also always bring some protein bars. I had them in my backpack as a snack but I wanted to save weight, so I just dropped everything into this bag. My charger, which is pretty heavy. Some more stuff for the gimbal. So that was really annoying to have, have to repack. So I just leave all the packing cubes in here and probably I'm going to clean up this mess a little bit. <laughs> So this was the very first episode or the pilot episode of season three traveling with Bo from Jakarta. And yeah, I'm this video, this very first video is probably 
completely all over the place. There will be a couple of interesting tutorials and travel tips in the next few episodes. Plus, of course, the documentary about that bag factory. And like always, if you have any more questions, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Thank you very much. <laughs>